Hey there fellow DIY enthusiasts, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into the world of solenoids and multimeters. We'll be checking a solenoid coil with a multimeter, a handy skill for any budding electrician or curious tinkerer. Before we get started, gather your tools. You'll need a multimeter, preferably with resistance measurement capability, safety gloves and goggles, a screwdriver for those hard-to-reach solenoids, and a pen and paper for note-taking. Now that we have our tools ready, let's dive into understanding solenoid coils. First things first, it's crucial to understand what a solenoid coil is. A solenoid is an electromechanical device that turns electrical energy into mechanical motion. The heart of this device is the solenoid coil, a wire loop that creates a magnetic field when current flows through it. This magnetic field is really the magic behind the motion, activating a plunger or valve within the solenoid. Now that we know what a solenoid coil is, it's time to prioritize safety. Before we proceed, it's important to prioritize safety. Electrical components can be unpredictable, which is why safety gloves and goggles are a must. These will shield your hands and eyes from any potential hazards. With safety ensured, let's disconnect the power supply. If your solenoid is connected to a power source, make sure to disconnect it. It's not just a safety measure, but also prevents damage to your multimeter. Now, to access the solenoid, there might be a cover or a panel in place. Use a screwdriver or the right tool to remove these parts carefully. Remember, our goal here is to get to the solenoid without causing any unnecessary damage. With the power disconnected and the solenoid accessed, let's set up the multimeter. Now, let's set up our multimeter to measure resistance. You'll want to turn the dial to the resistance setting, often denoted by the Greek letter omega. If your multimeter has an array of resistance ranges, it's best to start from the highest one. Then gradually scale down until you hit the range that best suits your solenoid coil. This way you're setting the stage for an accurate reading. With the multimeter set up, it's time to test the solenoid coil. To test the solenoid coil we'll be measuring its resistance. This is where your multimeter comes into play. Take the multimeter probes in hand, one colored red the other black. Now gently touch these probes to the two terminals of the solenoid coil. It's essential to ensure that the probes make solid contact with the metal terminals. A loose connection may lead to inaccurate readings. Once the probes are in place, give your multimeter a moment. It will calculate and display the resistance value of your solenoid coil. Now it's time to record this value. Grab your pen and paper and jot it down. This resistance value will serve as a crucial piece of information in determining the health and functionality of your solenoid coil. With the resistance value recorded, let's interpret what it means. The resistance value you obtained should be within a specified range provided by the solenoid manufacturer. This range is indicative of a healthy solenoid coil. If the resistance is within this range, it's a green light, your coil is functioning properly. However, if you encounter a resistance value that's significantly higher or lower, it suggests a possible fault. Perhaps your coil is burnt out, or there might be a short in the wiring, in such cases, it's important to refer to the manufacturer's guidelines or consult a professional. Avoid tinkering beyond your understanding as it can lead to further complications. If your coil's resistance is within the recommended range, let's reassemble everything. Once you're done testing, reassemble any parts you removed earlier and ensure they are securely in place. Take your time with this step, it's important not to rush. Make sure every screw is tightened and every panel is secured. Now before you reconnect the power supply, double-check everything. Make sure there's no tool left inside, no loose screws, and no exposed wires. Only then, when you're completely confident that everything is properly assembled, should you reconnect the power. And there you have it, folks. You've successfully learned how to check a solenoid coil using a multimeter. Congratulations! You've just successfully checked a solenoid coil using a multimeter. Remember, each step is crucial, from safety measures to interpreting resistance values. Continue applying this knowledge, keep exploring, and never stop learning. Thank you for joining us today. Until next time, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep creating.